Phoenix here, Immortal Hellseeker, back with another review. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at one of my most anticipated figures of the year. The McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Three Jokers Clown Joker figure. I mean, I've been really hyped about this. If you, if you know me, I'm a huge Joker fan. <laughs> I think that's common knowledge. He's my favorite character in media. I fucking love this character. If you follow my Instagram, at Seeker underscore Blade, you will be familiar with that statement because, like, every other picture I post is a Joker figure, pretty much, because those are the ones I like taking the photos with the most, especially when it's new Jokers. I have a lot of fun taking pictures, including this guy. I've posted several photos of this dude on there, and... I've only had him for less than 24 hours, or a little over 24 hours. I found this guy at a Target uh, out in Southern Missouri, Northern Missouri, roughly. I don't live in Missouri, I live in Illinois, Southern Illinois I live in, but uh, I did find this guy in Missouri, uh, I'm trying to think where. Uh, if you follow Toy Shiz on Instagram, uh, wherever it was in Missouri you know, that he posted, that was me, that was my post, so that's cool, I shared it with him. Because he you know, usually shows other people's finds on his account. Now, um, again, we're going to be taking a look at this guy's accessories. What I think overall this figure. Spoiler warning, this is my new favorite McFarlane Toys DC figure. No, not just Joker. In general, this is my favorite figure from them. I love this thing. Anyway, let's take a look at the accessories and the packaging. So for packaging, we pretty much just have our standard McFarlane box art. Down below it says Joker the Clown, DC Multiverse on the top says Batman Three Jokers. Really like how that logo looks on these boxes. Joker the Clown. There is the barcode if you're looking for this motherfucker with... I think that's the DCPI, but don't quote me on that. Beside Batman Three Jokers, when you're looking for these in the store, that'll be on the side. Joker the Clown on the back. Joker the Clown, Batman Three Jokers picture of him holding both accessories with pictures that of the last wave for some reason i'm not a fan of that i really wish they would have shown the pictures from this wave like they did with the justice league figures nonetheless really cool stuff uh let's take a look at the accessories i figured this is i should show you this how i display all of my mcfarland toys dc multiverse boxes uh i have them all kind of lined up over here i really like how it looks it's kind of like a library uh, I just, I don't know, I like it. I don't know why I keep them, I just keep them because they, they have cool artwork on the back. Except the Justice League one, the Justice League ones I keep up there. Uh, just because they look good and that's just kind of where I put them. <laughs> that's every single one of them too that I own. I don't have any of the variants besides Arm of Dark Side. Alright, on to the video. So like I've said, I really do think this will be a fan favorite uh, multiverse figure in the next few years. This figure is genuinely phenomenal. I love it, personally. This is the definitive classic Joker in the 7-inch scale. I'm going to say that right now. This figure is great. So, we have easily one of the best head sculpts McFarlane has done to date. That, fit, that head sculpt is just beautiful. I love that. Um, articulation, arms have really good movement. Like, insane movement. There's a really good diaphragm in there. A lot of movement there. His legs go out pretty far. Some great bend there. It is the same legs that are on the Comedian, but you are able to get more movement on there because there's no trench coat. The jacket is removable. Um, I'm not going to take it off, but you can take it off, at least on mine. And frankly, that's all that matters right now for me. <laughs> but, yeah, this is truly great. I'm just gonna... I ran through all that shit, so now let's get to comparisons. Here he is next to two other Jokers that I've recently taken a look at, and I also want to say probably the two other best Joker figures they've made. Haven't gotten the criminal yet. I haven't been able to find him. I also do have Batgirl. I, she's upstairs. I'm not gonna go up and get her, but... Uh, so I have three of the six, so right on. Again, so far, these are easily their three best Joker figures. Again, I'd say the Clown is their best. 
It's really close, but I'm gonna say then the Mortal Kombat one, then the than the comedian, but I'm not completely sure. Here he is next to two of McFarlane's other Joker figures, being the Arkham one and the Rebirth one. Two figures that I used to love that made it onto my top ten list last year. That now, if these were released now, I don't know if I'd care for these. But back then, man, these were the shit. Here he is next to the Rebirth Batman and the New 52 Red Hood. Red Hood used to be the king of this line, but he's been dethroned. I'm really looking forward to the new Red Hood and the new Batman in this line. I know those are going to be my, uh, at least Batman will be my new favorite version. Red Hood, and I think it'll be close, but yeah, these are already really good. And he scales good with them. Here is the new Joker next to Lex Luthor, who I think looks phenomenal with him, and the new Superman. Here he is next to two recent pickups, Lobo. I know, I know you want the review. He's coming, he's coming. And then Blight. Here he is next to two Marvel Legends, being the Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic, and Human Torch. Recently reviewed those guys. Here he is with Boba Fett and a Cobra Soldier. Here he is next to Mafex Batman. I do have the Far From Home Spider-Man. I He's upstairs right now. I'm not going to go get him. But I do have him, and I would have showed him in this video. No way home this week. I'm, I'm cautiously excited. I'm going to say that. I'm not as hyped as I was for Endgame. I have a shit ton of Mafex coming in. I got the Hush Joker, who I actually think could even beat that guy. It's just already a crazy thought. Um, I have Hush from Hush, the and the Dark Knight Returns Batman and Robin coming, so I'm really excited about those. And last but certainly not least, here he is with Retro Spider-Man, who is getting replaced soon, and Snake Eyes. So yeah, if you're really looking for your definitive 7-inch Joker, this is the guy you want. This is the figure you want. I consider this an early Christmas present to me as a Joker fan. This figure is phenomenal i love it 10 out of 10 so far this year i even know i do have a couple of figures that i'm getting in the next couple of weeks that i do think could beat it so far this year this is my favorite figure i i adore this thing i've had so much fun with it i've taken so many photos one of which i'm gonna make the thumbnail I'm not sure which one but definitely if you collect multiverse or shit if you're going to collect multiverse get this bastard totally worth it He's great. He's worth the 20 bucks. Everyone should get this guy. Uh, the store I went to, they had six of him. They didn't have anyone else in the wave, but they did have six of this guy. So pick his ass up. He's not going to be hard to get. Get it. He's totally worth it. This is the Joker you want. If you're only getting one Joker, get this one. Enough said. This has been your own real health seeker. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends that are interested. Goodbye.